We think there's no bigger bang for your buck for bicycle safety, pedestrian safety, and transit improvements than fixing Market Street. We think it's the number one corridor that we can really see improvements to sustainable transportation. We want to reach out to businesses along the way, to neighbors, to other stakeholders, and make this a people first street. It's like the center of the funnel of this city. If you see the way the city's laid out, it's not a square. All the streets lead into Market Street. Everything comes here. So it's an incredible asset. You know, making Market Street come back to where a destination point rather than a pass-through point would be, you know, a goal for, for all of us. You know, we want to say proud to be on Market Street and proud to be part of, you know, the revitalization of its public spaces and its thoroughfare. Right now there's a lot of friction for car drivers, bicyclists, as well as Muni, all trying to access Market Street at the same time in a very congested way. So there's a lot of I'd say frustration. There's some plazas, there's some parks uh, that don't really work well now. We need to get those in good shape so that these can be the sort of nodes, these sort of jewels along Market Street. How do we lessen the amount of car traffic here? How do we reduce the speeds? How do we civilize the sharing of space? And how do we prioritize those walking, biking, and taking transit? I think you'd see not only a different street in terms of transportation, but you'd see a really different street in terms of the life and the business. You know, there's lots of parts of Market Street that are are really failing, frankly, that are, are underdeveloped, underserved. I would love to see Market Street be car free. As it is right now, there's so many more people that are using Market Street than cars, and there's a limited amount of space. And so at the, right now, the cars are kind of squeezing everybody else to the sides. You have these really skinny uh, medians to wait on the bus that are often really crowded. I think everything in the world should be people friendly. San Francisco is a very progressive city and I think there should be more provisions for pedestrians. The curbs aren't even so I have go over a lot of bumps. It'd be nice to have a couple of benches we could chill on. That. But then I would see people sleeping on the benches and I don't, I don't think they want that. Sometimes like the buses take longer to get down the block than it would if you just walked down the block. So that's really frustrating at times. Uh, they get very crowded. Uh, standing room only a lot of times. One thing that really bugs me, I guess, is when I'm uh, biking and there's a bus that pulls over and you have to squeeze by. If you walk through United Nations Plaza, it's really big and there's big buildings on either side of you and stuff. And you walk in the middle of it, you kind of feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. You know, it's not to scale. Where you've got great buildings, sometimes you've got really terrible public spaces. This is Holiday Plaza. It's a sunken plaza from the 1960s. It was built when BART went in. It's really the front door to San Francisco for a lot of people. But as you can see, it doesn't work at all as a public space. It's completely barren. There's nothing to do. And uh, the city's war on seating hasn't helped at all. All right, so here we are in Mint Plaza. This is actually not on Market Street, but it's an example, I think, of uh, what could happen. As you can see, it's been beautifully designed. It's at street level. It really invites people in. But the people who maintain this, which is the Martin Building Company, they put these chairs out for anyone to enjoy. So you can come here with your coffee. Great thing about these chairs is they move. When the sun changes position, you can lift up your chair and follow the sun. We go out the first Saturday of each month and identify, circle, and report all the potholes we can find. Last December, when we were here, this was actually bouncing when a car came over it. The city came out, they filled it in. Two months later, it looks like this, it's worse than before. So many of these defects that we have in the street are definitely a hazard for cyclists, can flip you once your tire gets caught in them. But they're also a hazard for pedestrians and for cars. It's a huge wear on cars. Lots of times cars will veer in one direction or another to avoid this. Who knows what they're going to hit in the process. We're going through an incredible change. We've got more bikes coming past Van Ness downtown on Market Street now than we do cars to commute to work in the morning. And that tells me something about the, the, the change that's being forced upon it. And we can't treat this, this street as a catch-all for everything that we want to do. We have to really rethink what we can do and what we can't do. Let's make it a street that people really, really want to come to. We've made a terrific investment in public transit, getting people here. But once you're here, there's not a lot to do. A little bit more green, a little bit softening of the edges, 
a little bit more encouragement for people to be sitting out, talking to each other. It's got to have political will and you've got to have someone to manage it. But you know, you can invest the community more in it. You know, we're talking about put a movie night out there, put music out there, entertainment out there, family night, invest the schools and put your, the senior ball out there and tent it. It's really critical that we think about Market Street now. The street is scheduled to be ripped up and repaved completely in the next couple of years. We need to do it right this time. We can either rip the street up and put it back the way it is, which is severely broken, or we can put it back better. We can make this a grand promenade that, you know, San Francisco can be proud of.